been a long time since I taught all of you. So good to see you again. Tonight's your final lesson. Hi, Jim. Great. So oh, it's great to see you. I love your glasses. You, you, this is like literally the first time I'm wearing them. I don't know if I'm looking like a clown or not, but I'm like, I'm going to go with white glasses. So we'll see. No, they look so cool. I actually have mine here. I was like, am I going to wear these or no? Oh, those are nice. Those are like a cat woman. I like them. Thank you. Okay, I'm going to wear them. So we're both like, yeah. Yes, let's do that then. You know, this is my first ever interview in these glasses. So we can roll with that. <laughs> Mine too, so great. <laughs> okay, well, I love it. Then. There you go. We're, we're debuting something. How's everything? Where are you at? It's going well. I'm in Cape Town in South Africa. Um, oh. We're at lockdown level one, which is a good thing. Everything's starting to feel a bit more like, no like yeah, normal again. Okay. And how's things with you? How's it going? Uh, I'm in Chicago, and it snowed today for the first time a little bit so that's crazy it's early for that but it's cold as hell and it's raining and it's snow and it's definitely feeling that winter is coming really soon oh that's awesome i love snow i've only seen snow like when i studied acting in canada and and i freaked out every time like, snow <laughs> angels. <laughs> Just there's a lot out. of it there so yeah, yeah. oh that's <laughs> so good cool. well as long as you're staying you know everything's good with you that's all that matters you know yeah, no. And with you, is everything, is lockdown, how's the lockdown there? Uh, in Chicago, it's not too bad, actually. Uh, I mean, things are slowly, I mean, they're spiking up, unfortunately, but everything's open pretty much. Like I went to a, it's like Halloween season here in, uh, in the U.S., so I went to this haunted house uh, over the weekend, so that was fun. Um, oh, that's so cool. I've always wanted to do that. Do they really chase you around like with like chainsaws and stuff? Yeah, yeah, they do. Yeah. And it's like, it, it feels like a, I went to one of the best ones out here and it felt like a movie set. I felt like I was in a horror movie. Like you go through this like literally like this graveyard and it's outside uh, and then okay. you go into this house and then you're like, you're going down a stairwell, you're in some basement, then you're like in a bears, you got to move like sideways to get through this like maze of like walls where you can't even turn, uh, go on head on. It's insane. It trips you up so much. Oh my goodness. That sounds so creepy. When you said basement, I was like, whoa, okay. That's, that's insane. But that's yeah. so cool. That's yeah. So you cool. walk in there that you're like, just, you don't know where you're at too. So uh, <laughs> it just, it takes you on a journey. And then like, you, oh, I'm in a a uh, haunted like church, you know, and there's all these like zombie uh, nuns, you know, dead nuns. It was insane. It was like half an hour of just like a thrill walk. Wow, that's so cool. Oh my goodness. Oh, I wish I got to do it. Like I really want to do one of those one day. Hey, you got to come <laughs> out here in, in like October. This is the season where all this takes place. So I, I hope you experience it. Oh, that's so epic though. Oh my goodness. <laughs> I'm so jealous. <laughs> hey, at least I didn't have something strapped on and, and that was going to blow me up too. So I'll take a haunted house any day over that. Nice, nice. Yeah. You, you <laughs> guys, it looked like it was like a horror. You guys filmed the whole movie in the dark. Literally, it was like pitch black, the whole thing in a forest. Um, tell me about that. I mean, was it was it kind of freaky and weird too, in a sense, to be like filming all in the middle of night in this like I don't know where you guys filmed, but it looked creepy as hell. That that jungle <laughs> forest setting, you know? Yeah. Oh my goodness, it, it really was so creepy because it was an actual like in the woods, uh -huh. um, and you know it was raining. We were supposed to shoot for seventeen days, but then it started raining, and we only had eleven days. So that's not a oh, lot. That's quick. That that's that's quick so um you know it was like really like fast paced and people were like sliding in the mud some people got injured um bugs everywhere it was it was really crazy like scratches from tripping over branches and just like yeah um but i i think it was so like it added to the whole like experience like as an actor you're like yeah this is great and i love that this vest is a bit too tight because now i'm like into this character you know um but yeah all night shoots is kind of it's strenuous it's like you know it gets you after a while so yeah i'd imagine it was over you know i was wondering how heavy were those backpacks and stuff you know because this seemed like it had a lot of it i mean was it just like a vest with like a lot of fancy stuff up front? like was it heavy and tight tell me about what it felt like carrying that yeah, throughout no. the movie. 
It's, it's, I mean, it's crafted so well. I think they did a really good job because it's actually, I think it's like foam latex. So ah. it looks like it's metal. I think that's, yeah, kind of what it looks like, but, but it's actually kind of like soft and like bendable. Um, so no, it's, it, it's not heavy at all, but, but it, it is quite tight. You can tell them how tight you want them to make it. But I was like, no, I need to get into character, make it as tight as you can, <laughs> <laughs> um, you know? So that was great because then you're aware of this thing around your body and like constricting you the whole time. Um, and yeah no they were fantastic and then we had remotes that's how we operated the different like color lighting and uh -huh. you know, yeah that's Super interesting cool. <laughs> you know it, like the whole thing your crew I mean you guys had to bond because it's only like a you know handful of you out there now you're for like 11 straight days in the middle of the night how did you guys kind of bond as as friends and you know you, you're playing friends that hate each other but I'd imagine it was the opposite of it on set what was the set like yeah oh my goodness no there was such great camaraderie as you can imagine because that's usually what happens it's really like going camping with a group of friends like it's like a team building experience because that's what happened everyone was like okay guys we got to make this happen and and um you know i've said a couple of times before to other people that what it's a low budget film so what was really cool is the people who were there really wanted to be there they like they enjoyed the script. They were like, let's do this. So it was so much fun. Everybody was just giving it their all. And we're all friends offset. So okay. that was just so great, you know, chilling with everyone. We were just cracking jokes all of the time, basically. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Uh, have you guys uh, been connecting ever since, ever since filming? Or? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So some of us are in Joburg and some are in Cape Town where I'm at. So yeah, no, we're, we've been hanging out. We're, yeah, really good friends because we're all South African. So that's also a cool thing for us, you know, to do this film that's kind of like, you know, for an international audience, that's a big deal for us. Right. H have you done any films uh, outside of South Africa in a sense with like different, uh, you know, actors from different places around the world? Uh, I wonder what the experience would be like to work kind of with your, with your literally hometown friends uh, yeah. versus, you know, because you don't really get to do that sometimes on movies, you know, especially, yeah. uh, you know, working with people that live nearby and you can relate to versus uh, where a lot of them are people are from different sides of the world. Yeah, exactly. No, it's so cool because like um, Raina Swart, who also plays, she plays Ryan in Trigger. Mm -hmm. Um, we're both Afrikaans, so we actually speak, that's our native language, we actually speak a different language. So it was really cool because we would switch from speaking an American accent to Afrikaans and everyone would be like, whoa, no, don't do that. My, like my brain is, can't handle that, that's insane. Um, but yeah, so it is a bit different. I, I acted in Friend Request opposite um, Alicia Devnon right. Carey, amazing, um, and you know, all these, Connor Paolo, all these really great actors. Um, and yeah, I guess it is different in a sense, but I was kind of shocked how similar the whole experience was for hmm. me. Like, I think at the end of the day, they're just, we're just all like actors, you know, doing our job, all really committed. They were all really kind. Uh, yeah, the, I thought there would be like a big difference, um, but there really wasn't. I think it was maybe just a bit like more comfortable to act with people you know, like are from your hometown, and, you know? Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, I really enjoyed both experiences equally. You know, when you were <laughs> looking through the script and everyone's got some sort of revelation or secret hiding or, or you know, or crazy death in a sense, um, what was your kind of initial reaction to, to your character and what you saw that, you know, your character gets to last long, so that's a good thing. You know, you don't go early. <laughs> um, what was your kind of reaction uh, initially reading the script and uh, what you got? I'm, I'm sure all of you were like, ooh, this is my death. Oh, this is my revelation. I'm sure that was like a big topic of conversation on set. <laughs> Oh yeah, like, let me tell you this, like as an actor, the first thing you do when you read a script, you're like, how many scenes do I have? Oh yeah, yeah great, I'm still at page 70. That's good, you know, like, so you do that. Um, but yeah, so no, I was I was really obviously happy um, to, to play a character that kind of lasts, you know, kind of long in the film. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, it's, 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 it's fun, cause like, oh my goodness, I'm scared that I'm gonna like be um, giving away any spoilers, but yeah. We, we I'll, I'll make a mention of that so people don't get away. You can go ahead. Oh, okay, goodness, thank you. Cause yeah. like, I'm like, what, did I just say something wrong? Um, okay, but um, so we had like a wall with like photos of all, like of everyone. And then we'd like draw a bloody cross like over, <laughs> over you when you're dead. So it's just be like, <laughs> in the beginning it's like nice photos. And at the end of the shoot, it was just like bloody crosses everywhere. Um, yeah, so as an actor, you always wanna like, 
you want to live as long as possible because you want to get as many scenes because that's just the most fun. <laughs> That's that's cool. That's so funny. You guys kind of played it off about offset, you know, <laughs> with with what was going on. You know, I love the dialogue in this week. This dialogue, it's so many funny kind of like, uh, you know, current uh, humor in it in, in so many ways. I I just thought it was, some of the stuff was hilarious when you know you're about to kill someone, you're throwing out all these funny lines uh, right between. Uh, tell me about the dialogue. How how you guys were must have been cracking up because I mean, at watching it, it was it was hilarious to hear someone getting murder but it was so spot on and witty and, and crafty oh my goodness yeah we were laughing a lot and I think what's so nice about the script like David D Jones did such a good job because it makes everything light and I think um I actually haven't seen the film yet by the way oh, but I wow. think like overall yeah it makes it makes the film feel a bit like lighter that's what I've read mm -hmm. in reviews as well people are like you know it's actually fun you're, it's like you're in a video game like who's gonna die next you know that kind of thing um but yeah like my character I don't know if she has a lot of witty lines to be honest with you <laughs> but but Kato or like Russell who plays Kato oh um yeah, yeah it was it was hard to keep straight face you know when he was like I've always wanted to make you scream or something I'm just like yeah. um you know and having to like be you know so um straightforward like straightforward and Aaron is a lot more um conservative and stuff so it was it was really funny and we had so many just funny lines like Steven who plays Ezra is probably one of the funniest people I've ever met and I have a couple of scenes with him so we were just like laughing most of the time. <laughs> That's awesome. That must be fun, you know, to be part of like a movie where you get to have so much fun, you know, not only with the people around, but just even with the script in itself, you know, it's not that heavy or, you know, you have to go into these like deep characters sometimes. Sometimes it's just good to let it loose, you know? Oh yeah, that's it's so much fun and the camaraderie is so great because like once someone starts laughing, everyone's laughing and then we're like, okay guys, wait, focus again. And um, yeah, and I think, or I hope it translates into the film that we were just having so much fun and everyone was just like giving it their all and yeah, yeah. having a lot of fun with, with their characters, I think. That's, that's the key. And Kato was wrong, okay? He's like, oh, swipe left on you. I'd swipe right on you every time. I don't know what the thank hell he was talking thank about. You. Yes, thank you. <laughs> Feels so much better now. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. There you go. I mean that's all that's that that's a literally you knew that he was crazy at that point. You know, that was a dead giveaway. <laughs> Thank you. That's so great. No, but how cool is Kato? Like, I feel like he's got oh, the awesome. coolest lines ever. I'm just like, and Russell just killed it. Like, oh mm -hmm. my goodness. He really went for it completely. He, he went for it. He went for it. And oh yeah, I just had, I had so much fun working with him. Just seeing how, you know, how manic and how crazy yeah, it was just, yeah, lovely. Um, all of the actors, I think we all just really elevated one another. We were like, wow, I love what you're doing and like building, you know, on each other. And that was so much fun. I wanted to ask you about friend request because that's 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 a really movie I enjoyed uh, watching. Tell me what was it working on that film because uh, that that was that must have been fun too. That set and that that film overall. I, I personally enjoy that movie. So I'm so happy you liked it. Yay! <laughs> um, oh my goodness, that was that was amazing. So we shot a, a part of it here, like in South Africa, in Cape Town, which is really oh, cool, wow. um, and then also in Germany. So that was to me that was that was so much fun. Um, and yeah, the scale of that film was just so it was so amazing to be a part of something um, that big. And Simon Verhoeven, who's the director, he is amazing. Like he also co-wrote um, the script and came up with the concept and everybody was just like so invested in that film. And I feel like that's where the similarity was between Triggered and Friend Request. Like everybody just wanted to be there and ready to get their hands dirty and just work. Um, and yeah, like I said, I loved acting opposite Alicia. I think she's amazing. Um, I'm so happy to see how her career is just like, you know, yeah. excelled. Um, and then I didn't know if it would, like you obviously hope for someone that it would, but it just makes so much sense. She just has this, beautiful subtlety to the way she's acting and I was just in awe of her I think she's amazing um and we also had such great camaraderie we went on safaris and wow, did so cool. many amazing things together like went on a weekend away and uh, it was just like the best memories ever in Germany what'd you do there anything you explored or saw out there I mean when you were there 
Yeah, we went to um, the opera. We went to the Hofbrauhaus. House. We got some like massive beers. It was a lot of fun. And but yeah, I didn't have a lot of time because all the marina room scenes were like shot there. So I had a lot of shooting to do there. But um, we still we still went out to restaurants and go shopping in the day. And yeah, it was a lot of fun. <laughs> that's a fun experience. I mean, that's literally international right there from uh, Cape Town to Germany. Wow. Yeah, yeah, definitely. It's like a dream come true. There you go. I wanted to ask you, what are some things you like to do in your everyday life? What are some hobbies or interests that you do? What, what's what's life like in, in Cape Town and in South Africa? You know, I've never <laughs> been, but, but what are some things you enjoy doing kind of day to day when we're not in uh, quarantine, of course? Oh, yeah, yeah. Um, I love, so I love, uh, I have a clothing label, so I love fashion design. That's something that I really like. I'm actually wearing this thing that I'm wearing. I've made um, this. Oh, that, um, I, that's so cool. You made that? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, so I, I, I love doing fashion design. That's something that I'll do on my free time is just design. I'm also a songwriter. I love writing songs. I like Sometimes I sing, I like doing that. So I'll, I'll usually like just sit and play some guitar on my free time. I, I do martial arts as well, which is a lot of fun. Um, I, what I'm hell don't you do? Okay, what don't you do? Oh, that's a better question there. There's a lot of things that I can't do, believe me. Oh my goodness. I'm not like hiking and stuff. You know, I'd like to think that I'm someone who's really like outdoorsy, yeah. but but I'm not. <laughs> um, but yeah, I'm so do I. I think anyway, so you know. Oh really? Oh cool. <laughs> uh, because yeah, no, I'm I'm not not too keen on that. But yeah, so I love I love doing martial arts, and I I like um, you know. I actually I'm waiting to do a film at some point where I can use you know where I can put oh, yeah, that would be complete to the test. That'd be so cool. Uh, but yeah, that's basically what I do in my free time. Um, Cape Town's so beautiful. I mean, we have ocean here and yeah. And and I watch a lot of films. <laughs> that's my my life in a nutshell. <laughs> hey, there's a lot going, there's like a lot more going on there than with me. So I mean, and that <laughs> that's awesome. Wow. That that you see, I love I love asking that sort of a question. You get to find out so much more about, you know what drives you as a person and what you enjoy. So that's, that's super cool uh, that, that you do all those things, you know? So always have an avenue for something. Yeah, no, yeah. I love staying creative, whether it's writing music, acting, um, you know, just love it. It has to be something creative. And if it's, yeah, that's like, my life is basically just doing creative things. That's like my everyday that's routine. That's you're acting, so there you go. Yeah. yeah. Well, <laughs> We're already out of time. Damn it. It was so quick. When you're having fun, it always goes by quick. <laughs> yeah, this is so much fun. Thank you so much. Oh, oh my God. God. I need to ask you finally, how do you pronounce your name? I was not going to butcher this in front of you. So I just wanted to hear it from you. <laughs> no, it's great. It's, it's a German name. So it is quite tricky. It's Liesel. Liesel. Okay. I had it right. There you go. I figured oh, it was right. Right. Oh, great. That's good. Yeah. I did. I was like, I'm going to go with Lisa if in case, or you're going to stab me for that if I get it wrong. But yeah. <laughs> I'm so used to it. Like at Starbucks, they just write lies. Like they don't even add the L at the end. And I'm just like, well, okay then. <laughs> so it's good. Thank you so much for your time. I had a blast talking to you. I'm talking to Rain uh, tonight. So I'm talking to your co star Yay. later on. So we'll have She's more. She's lovely. Fun. She's great. She's lovely. I can't, can't wait for it. Well, uh, stay safe and healthy. And I certainly hope I connect with you uh, soon. We have more time to talk together. Oh, that'd be awesome. Thank you, Jim. This, this was really fun. Oh, the pleasure is mine. <laughs> Thanks for having me. You too. Thank you. Bye-bye. Bye. Why are you doing this? I can't even eat gluten. Trust me, I'm not going to be able to kill anyone. <laughs> <laughs>